Hello everyone, it's me, Rob. Now, I know you are waiting to see your Draw With Rob video, but I just wanted to pop up for a second at the beginning just to tell you about something really exciting. It's the new Draw With Rob at Christmas activity book. I think you're really gonna like this. It's full of festive, fun things to do over the Christmas period. We have, we start off with an arty advent, so it's something for you to do, a little drawing-y thing for you to do every single day from the 1st of December right up until the 24th. What else is there there? You can make your own Christmas cards, make your own Christmas decorations. I've got like a template for a letter to Father Christmas so you can tell him what you want for Christmas. We have lots of jokes to put inside Christmas crackers or to put around the table on Christmas day. I even have a little thing where you can make up a little gift box in there and you can color it in whatever colors you like. And parents, there's thank you card templates in there. So no excuse not to write thank you cards. Of course, it's full of all the draw-alongs and puzzles that you found in the first book too. Not the same ones, different ones, festive ones. We've got a Santa draw-along, we've got an elf draw-along, we've got snowman draw-along, loads and loads of things. So listen, I think you're gonna like it. It's available from wherever you get your books. So check it out. And if you like it, do let me know using that Draw With Rob hashtag. Now, on to your Draw With Rob video. Have fun everyone, and I'll see you in a second. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob, with me, Rob Bidolf. Now then, I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this, Dog Gone. This is my newest picture book here, all about Teddy, who loses his human one day and has to find him. That's a good one. I also illustrate books for other authors sometimes, as some of you might have seen this book here, The Adventures. It's nice and gold, isn't it, that type? I have to move it so you can read it. It's called The Adventures of Parsley the Lion, written by the great Michael Bond, who wrote the Paddington books. And it was a real honour and a pleasure to illustrate that book. But it's a very special episode today, isn't it? Because oh, it's our first Christmas episode. Look, I've got special Christmas backing paper. I've got the old odd dog out, stepping into Christmas there. Look, going through the magical... Christmas archway, turning all Christmassy. I thought, oh, come on, I've got to make an effort. I've got to make an effort. Look what I've got here. The first mince pie of the Christmas season. Oh, I'm so tempted just to eat that, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to save it as a little reward once I've done today's drawing. Because that is why we're here, isn't it? To do a drawing together. Where's my piece of paper? Here it is. Here's my piece of paper. Now then, I love Christmas. Who loves Christmas? Hands up, who loves Christmas? I've always loved Christmas, my favourite time of year. Can't have enough Christmas in my house. We have Christmas trees, decorations in virtually every room. It's just a lovely time of year. Even Ringo, my dog, has a Christmas outfit to wear on the big day itself. Anyway, some of you might have seen my Draw With Robert Christmas book, actually. Do you remember that picture I showed you right at the beginning of me in the Christmas hat? That's in this book here. So hopefully some of you might have already started. Where is it? Here we go. There's an arty advent in there and I've given you things to do every single day in the build up to Christmas, the first, second, third, all the way through to Christmas Eve itself. So maybe some of you have started to do that. But today I thought we've got to draw something Christmas Eve. I think we've got four Christmas episodes in the build up to Christmas. So. I'm gonna show you how to draw four very Christmassy things. And today, I thought we'd draw a snowman. How does that sound? Okay, so just in case you've never done one of these videos with me before, this is how it works. There are lots of children out there who say they're not very good at drawing. There are lots of adults out there too who say they're not very good at drawing. But you know what I say? Everybody can draw. It's just that sometimes you might need a little bit of help along the way, which is where I come in. So. This is how we do it. I draw a little tiny bit of the drawing here on my piece of paper. You can then pause your video and you can copy what I do. Start me up again, I'll draw a little bit more. Pause me, you draw. I draw, 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 you draw. And by the end, we're gonna end up with a lovely picture of a Christmassy snowman. So, grab yourself a piece of paper. Grab yourself a pen, something to draw with, pencil, anything that you've got lying around. You might want something to colour in with a bit later on, who knows. 
but I think we're ready to start. So, the very first thing we are going to draw is nice and simple. Towards the top of your page, I want you to draw a slightly curved line, roughly that length, so about five centimeters in length, very slightly curved. You can see mine's slightly curving that way, isn't it? Slightly diagonal. So a nice, easy start. Then, coming out of that straight line, I want you to draw two more straight lines, like that, going right up to the top of your page. And then we're gonna join those lines up, like that. Let's color that shape in. I've got my nice brush pen here, so that makes coloring in this bit nice and fast. The only trouble is, there's lots of ink up there, and as you know, I tend to smudge. So let's see if I can get through this video without smudging, shall we? There we go, now who wants to have a guess at what part of the snowman we have drawn first? That's right, his or her hat. They're called snowmen, aren't they? But there's no reason why this can't be a snow woman, or a snow girl, or a snow boy, or a snow cat even. You can do anything you like with this snowman. I'm just gonna say snowman because that's what I'm used to saying, okay? Right, the next thing to do is underneath that hat, he needs a head, doesn't he? So we are going to draw a lovely circle. Now, it doesn't matter if your circle is not perfect at all. My circle is far from perfect. Look, it's all gone a bit wobbly down here. I'm just gonna keep drawing. The important thing is not to screw your drawing up and start again if you're not 100% happy with it. Just try and correct it like I am here. See, I'm just trying to correct it to make it closer to what I want. We don't need to start again, do we? So there we go, a lovely snowman head. Let's give a snowman a nice nose. Now what are snowmen's noses made out of usually? Carrots, that's right. So we are gonna draw a nice carrot shape. This is how we do it. We're gonna start right in the middle of the head. We are gonna draw a sort of backwards letter C, like that. So just like a semicircle, right in the middle, okay? Then coming out of the bottom of your semicircle, we're gonna draw a straight line, but it's not gonna go horizontally perfectly. It's gonna go slightly diagonally down towards this side of his face. So if you imagine his face is a clock, we're gonna to go to about eight o'clock. Just gone eight o'clock, I would say. That's where you wanna to aim towards. Then when you get there, we're gonna curve back around, quite a tight curve like that. And then we're gonna head right back up to the other side of our C. So you get a sort of rounded triangle shape pointing towards eight o'clock. And that is gonna be our carroty nose. To make it look a bit carroty, you can do this. Just add just a few thin little lines around the top like that. Makes it look a bit carroty, doesn't it? Now, snowmen's eyes, they're usually made out of little buttons or lumps of coal, aren't they? We're just gonna add a couple of little dots, nice and simple. We're gonna do them really close to the nose. So one small circle there, and one small circle there. And look, a snowman magically has come to life. It's as easy as that, isn't it? <laughs> now, a nice smiley mouth, I think that's what's in order here. Again, snowmen's mouths and snow ladies' mouths are usually made out of little stones. So we're not just gonna draw a line like that. We're gonna make our line out of little circles. So what we're gonna do, level with the nose here, about halfway between the edge of the nose and the edge of the face, we're just gonna do a tiny little dot, like that, okay? And the same on the other side, if you can imagine, where halfway between that bit of the nose and that side of the face, we're just gonna add another little tiny dot. And we are gonna join those two dots up. This is a bit like doing a dot-to-dot -dot puzzle, but the other way around. We're not adding the line, we're adding the dots, you see. So we are just gonna add lots of little dots and we're going to go around in a semicircle like that we're going to go underneath the nose and we're going to join up there and look a lovely smiley snowman smile this is easy isn't it easy peasy so far this snowman right now we need to draw the body, but before we draw the body, snowmen often wear scarves, don't we? So we need to draw the scarf going around our snowman's neck. So this is how we do it. Coming down, I've changed pen again, I keep changing 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the one I used in the first place. I think. I mean, you, I don't want them to use too many pens, do I? That would just be showing off. So let's go back to the one we started with. And what we're gonna do? We're just gonna do two short vertical lines coming down to form a sort of neck for our snowman. But we are gonna join those two lines up in a kind of curve shape like that. And that is gonna form the main bit of our snowman scarf. Now we're gonna come back to that scarf in a second, but before we do that, we are gonna draw yet another circle. Now this circle is gonna be slightly smaller than the circle we drew for our snowman's head. Okay, very slightly smaller. And it's gonna come down and go around like that. So it's almost the same size, to be honest, isn't it? It's very slightly smaller. But that is gonna be the first part of our snowman's body. Because I think snowmen, when I make snowmen with my daughters in our garden or over in the park, which isn't very often because we don't often get enough snow to make snowmen, do we, these days? But when we do, we make three big snowballs. One for the head, one for the first part of the body, one for the second part of the body. And we stack them all up. So that's how I'm drawing my snowmen because that's how I'm used to making them. Okay? Now then, do you remember I said I'd come back to the scarf? That's what we're gonna do next. So what I want you to do is, coming out of the middle part of this line here of our scarf, I want you to draw a long curve, like that. And then coming about a centimeter apart, so it's gonna be coming out of this part of his body, we're gonna follow that curve, we're gonna sort of follow it around there, like that, keeping it nice and parallel. So keeping that distance between them equal. And then we're just gonna join the ends up and our snowman scarf is going to be blowing in the wind like that. And you know how you make a scarf look like a scarf? You just add some little tassels on the end, so lots of little lines like that, and immediately it becomes a scarf. They are very, very easy to do. Okay, the next thing to do is the next part of our snowman's body. Guess what? We're going to draw another circle, but well, this time we're going to draw a really big one. So it's going to come down like that right down towards the bottom of our page. Going to go around like that and join back up again. My brush ran out of ink for that section, so I'm just going to go back over it. There we go. Pretty much there now with our snowman. We just need to add a few more little details now. Buttons! little buttons made of bits of coal or stones or something so we're just going to do them very simply as three tiny black dots there we go one two three lovely little buttons and the very last thing that we have to draw is our snowman's arms which are going to be made out of sticks so this is how we do that we are just going to draw a little line about a centimeter long coming out of there then we're going to change direction and we're going to start heading upwards, maybe two centimetres this time. And because these are made of sticks, we're going to do, I'm going to do one little bit of the branch thing coming out there and one little bit coming out there like that to make it look like a stick arm. Let's do another one on this side, very similar. We're going to do it coming out of there. Now this time we're going to go in front, we're going to cross over that line because our snowman is sort of facing slightly that way, isn't it? So. This arm would be behind the body, but this one would be in front. So because it's in front, we're gonna do it crossing over the line, like that. So one bit there, let's change our angle again. Let's do the same thing. One little branch there, and one little branch there. And there we go. An easy peasy snowman drawing. Couldn't get much easier, could it? Now, these drawings are fantastic things to do at Christmas time because do you know what if you had done your drawing say moved it over a bit to this side of your page you could then fold your page in half voila you have a Christmas card it's as easy as that and you could make it's very quick to draw isn't it you could make four or five of them and you could send them to your parents or your siblings or your grandparents or your uncles or your aunts or your cousins or you can send it to everybody couldn't you make your own Christmas cards or you could get it, this picture, put it in a frame and give it, give it out as Christmas presents at Christmas time. There's so many things you could do. Or you could just, I don't know, you could cut them out, put stick them on some card, cut them out and hang them from the tree. 
just stick them up on the wall to make nice Christmas decorations. There's so many things you can do with your artwork at Christmas time. It's so exciting. Now, we do need to colour in our drawing, don't we? So, snowmen. Snow, by its very nature, is usually white, isn't it? <laughs> so, snowmen tend to be white. I'm going to do a bit of colouring. I'm going to, it is going to be mainly white, but I'm going to show you something that I do that makes snow look a bit more like snow by using a little tiny bit of colour, but I'll explain it after I've done it, okay? Um, carrots, they tend to be orange too, so you won't be surprised to hear my carrot's going to be orange, but this is where you can go crazy with your creativity. Your scarf can be anything, can't it? You can do, I don't know, stripes, dots, stars, hearts, holly leaves, anything you like. Christmas puddings, go crazy and have fun. The most important thing is to have fun. I'm going to go into super speed mode to colour my snowman in, so I'm going to see you back here in about 30 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, so there we go, there's my finished snowman. As I said, pretty much mainly white, but can you see I've used a little bit of blue, a little bit of light blue, just in these areas here. I decided my light was coming from this side, so I've made it slightly darker on this side, but by using a nice sort of icy blue in the shadow areas, it really makes it look a little, little bit more like snow for some reason, it makes it look a bit colder. So I've added a bit of shadow under the hat, under the carrot, under this arm here by the by the scarf and where these two parts of his body meet i've had a little bit of darker shading there i've done my old shadow trick you know a little bit of scribble where the object hits the floor just to make it look like it's standing on a surface i did a bit of smudging brilliantly i'd almost finished and i was just getting rid of some of the pencil -y dust and i went and immediately smudged a bit of ink what a doofus i don't think it matters at all though it adds a little bit of character it makes it look hand drawn that's what i say now then the last thing i've got to do of course is sign my name isn't it so i am going to sign my name down here a little rob do you know what i'm going to do because it's christmas add a little bit of holly to my signature a couple of little sprigs of festive holly one two there we go make it nice and Christmassy and there we go that's how you draw a snowman so listen I can't wait to see your drawings this is how I get to see your drawings you need to get your grown-up to take a picture of your drawing and then if they post it on social media using the draw with Rob hashtag then I'll get to see it won't I and if you are a teacher and you are looking for things to do with your class in the build-up to Christmas and you have decided to do this drawing why don't you tag it take a picture of everybody holding their drawings or just a picture of all their drawings and if you tag it with the class of the week hashtag who knows maybe I will choose you and you will win the class of the week certificate and your class will be the draw with Rob class of the week now I hope you've had fun drawing this do you know what it's Christmas isn't it I think I mean, this is a lovely snowman and everything, but I think I can make it a little bit more Christmassy. And Christmas is a time for magic, isn't it? And who remembers? You know what? I've got magic fingers, haven't I? And at Christmas time, they can do even more magic. So I think I would like to make this scene a little bit more Christmassy. Shall I give it a go? Okay, wish me luck. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow, what do you think of that? A lovely Christmassy scene. Listen, it's been really fun drawing with you today. I'm gonna to be back very soon with another Christmassy video. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.